affectionately known as Uncle Tai by his admirers. Tai Salaran was born on August 20, 1922, in Ikene-Rimo, Ogun State. Tai Salaran taught at the Methodist primary schools in Ago Awoye Ogun State and Sagamu Ogun State from 1937 to 1941. He also served as a typist at the Nigerian Customs Service. Please, use the comment section to share your opinion. In May 1942, Tai Salaran went to England as a volunteer in the British Royal Air Force during World War II, where he was trained to become a navigator. After his discharge in April 1945 from the force, he enrolled at the University of Manchester in 1946 and earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in History and Geography in 1949. In the year 1950, Tai Salaran earned a postgraduate diploma in education at the University of London's Institute of Education. He taught Yoruba as an assistant lecturer from 1950 to 1951 at the School of Oriental and African Studies. Tai Salaran relocated to Nigeria in 1951. He was appointed the new principal of Malusi College in Ajebu Igbo, Ogun State, from 1952 to 1955. He disagreed with Malusi College's governing body over the policy of opening each school day with hymns and prayers and taking the students to church on Sundays. Tai Salaran later ordered that copies of the songs of praise used by the students be confiscated and that if the students did not compose their songs, there would be no more singing in the school. This led the students to create the Melodious Melusian, an unorthodox hymn book that discarded songs calling on God to help people rather than rely on hard work. The horrified school board forced Tai Salaran to resign in January 1955. He moved on to open the first secular school in Nigeria in partnership with his wife, Sheila. Mayflower School in Ikene, Ogun State was founded on January 27, 1956. Tai Salaran served as its principal for 20 years. Mayflower preaches an extreme educational philosophy grounded in self-reliance, public service, self-sacrifice and physical toughness. In Salaran's words, the students must be rugged. Since the school was first established, female students are forbidden to use any form of cosmetics in the boarding house. A rigorous, military-style living regimen requires that every student wakes up by 5 a.m. for a round of physical exercise. Dr. Salaran would often be the first to attend these exercises. Expectedly, Mayflower School has produced some of the country's most accomplished, resourceful and industrious individuals today. For many years, Tai Salaran was a trouble for IBB, a stern critic of IBB and a perpetual lover of the poor. He called IBB incompetent. So one day, after a series of criticisms, IBB invited Tai for a discussion. He asked him what he could do to better the lives of the poor. Tai was happy, he quickly proposed a soft loan for all the poor Nigerians to enable them to start small-scale businesses, and as they returned the loans, other poor people would continue to benefit until it reached all. IBB clapped for Tai and pleaded with him to champion the noble cause so the program could run without a hitch. Tai agreed. Immediately, a people's bank was formed by decree and a huge fund was pumped into it with Dr. Tai as the chairman. Poor people were getting funds to start or expand their businesses, Tai coordinated it, and IBB never gave him any bottleneck, no distractions. But after giving out loans to the poor, the poor refused to return the money, and neither did we see their businesses on the ground. They have spent the money but no repayment. That was real trouble. Tai was sweating under the air conditioning system, this is trouble. After many futile attempts to recover the loans, the celebrated People's Bank crashed and became liquidated. Tai was running helter-skelter. He finally went to IBB, but IBB was not angry. He merely said, Egbin, see what we face in government. It is easy to talk. Talk is cheap sir, but look at your bank. This is just one small bank that you cannot manage. Imagine how many banks we have. Imagine ruling a whole country sir. If people now blamed you for the collapse of the bank you proposed and ran, how would you feel? Don't worry sir, you will not be prosecuted. Just go home and rest. You have had enough troubles already. Thanks for your service to the nation. But before he could leave Doden Barracks, the then military president ordered that he be called back. Tai Salaran started sweating. But he quickly composed himself before IBB asked him, would you like to serve as the Minister of Education or Finance? All he needed to say was, yes, sir, either of the two will be okay. And IBB would have appointed him right away. But Tai Salaran quickly answered. Mr. President, you already told me to go home and rest. I will be on my way now. With that, Tai Salaran left the presence of the President.
The two men never met again, and Tai Salaran never criticized IBB again. Please, use the comments section to share your opinion. Thanks again for watching.